and the attacks have brought on many changes, but how have security tactics evolved in the past year? Our Joe St. George takes a closer look. January 6th, a solemn anniversary. Terms like insurrection, domestic terrorism, and riot have all been used to describe that day, which so far has led to more than 700 arrests. But how have the country's security tactics changed since then? The United States Capitol Police is stronger and better prepared. For one, the chief of police at the U.S. Capitol says his force is better funded and is planning for events better. Officers now have cell phones. Before, they relied on radios, which failed at times one year ago. Officers also receive intelligence briefings each day on their phones to better understand threats. Not to mention the Capitol Police can now request National Guard assistance on their own before they needed approval from others. A $300 million upgrade to improve windows and cameras was approved by Congress as well. But it's not just the U.S. Capitol that has evolved over the course of the last year. Many state and local governments are changing too, taking the threat of domestic terrorism more seriously. I definitely think that was a wake up call. Gary LaFree, who runs the National Consortium for the Study of Terrorism, says more organizations are taking steps to address threats. Nearly 100 active duty members of the military participated in some form of extremism last year, according to the Pentagon. And now, new rules ban service members from retweeting or liking extreme posts. More than a dozen rioters were current or former police officers. In the state of Washington, a new law requires an extremism background check for new recruits. Fighting domestic terrorism is much more like dealing with a virus. In Colorado, the governor has requested four and a half million to improve state capital security. Michigan's governor, who was the subject of a kidnapping plot, already received prior to the January 6th attack a million dollar security upgrade at her home. But still, threats remain. New polling by the Washington Post finds 19% of Americans believe the January 6th attack was, quote, mostly peaceful, with 34% of the country believing violent action against the government is justified at times. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George. All right, Joe, thank you.